You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Welcome to the Doug Bellcast. And now, here is your host, the star of Ring My Bell, Doug Bell. How cute is Sandy Bullock? Oh, she's so cute. Like, I knew that, like, if I make her, like, if me and her dated... Like, I know you're like, you know, but man, you know, you're too famous for her. <laughs> but, but seriously, if she and me dated, it would be so cool. Like, I would treat her so good with such like a lot of like respect and blah, blah, blah. Like, um, like if we did a movie together uh, or like a project or something, uh, it would just be so cool. Like, I would show her so much respect and love. I remember that guy, <clears throat> she was with that guy and he like, uh, he was philandering behind her back. He was philandering behind her back. And uh, I seen her one time. It was right after that happened. She was in a, uh, she was in line at Starbucks. She was getting herself like a mocha frap or something. Um, and she had on like dark sunglasses and it looked like she was crying a little bit. So I try to make her laugh. I see her, she gets the mocha frap. I go, uh, I go, I go, Sandy, Sandy. I go like that and she jumps like she's startled. And I go, don't drink that, you're gonna get fat. I go, you're looking fat, Sandy. I told her she looks fat. Um, uh, but then I remembered that like her husband had just been unfaithful. So I was like, felt so bad. I was like, no, don't get me wrong. You're not, I'm not saying he cheated because you're fat. Uh, I go, don't, you know, he just, I'm like, you, you're, I'm, I go, you look pretty good. I go, I, he probably just cheated because he was bored or he wanted to. Uh, I told her that like that. And I go, you deserve to find a guy who will, uh, be nice to you. I say to her while she's standing there with the frap. Uh, I take my hat off and I go, and you might've met that guy. <laughs> I go like that though. You know, I go, Doug Bell, nice to me. She didn't shake my hand though. She's like, no, I don't, uh, you know, uh, you know, I just want to, you know, I got to go. But I was like, I go, you're as cute as a button. I said, or I called her Sandy too. I go, Sandy, you're as cute as a button. Don't let that philanderer bring you down. Don't let that philanderer wipe a smile off your cute face. And I go, if you ever need to talk, I go, like, I know you don't know me too well. Like you probably just like, we're like mutual admirers of each other's work. But I go, if you ever need like a friend, you could call Bell. I go, because uh, I'm a good listener and I'm a good talker. And I'll just do like one of these, like time to talk. And you could just go and I'll just give you some helpful advice, blah, 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 whatever you need. Uh, and she goes, okay, thank you. Like, yeah, she was cool about it. Like, and she leaves. Um, but I remember, like, I was like, oh, she doesn't know how to get a hold of me. Like, I remember that, like, because she might really need to talk, because, like, I tell like it is. Like, I would tell her, like, hey, bae, you know, like, whatever she needed to hear. Um, so I didn't know how to get a hold of her. So I was calling her agent, and blah, blah, blah. I'm leaving messages. I'm sending emails to the agent. And I'm like, they're probably just on vacation. Uh, but, like, it got to be, like, eh, blah, 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 somewhere in, like, the neighborhood of, like, eight months, and they didn't get back to me. So I took one of those celebrity tours uh, and they went past her house. So I kind of remembered where she lived and I drove there later. And I just kind of hung out like right parked in front of her house, just cranking some tunes, uh, just kind of hanging out, you know, uh, drinking a night, like, you know, a non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> I didn't need to get like, you know, I don't want to get thrown in a pokey. Um, and she comes out, she hops and I go, Sandy, and I start beeping a horn, beeping a horn. And I go, it's me. Um, and she hops in the car and uh, she takes off. So I mean, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, God, I could just die. I was so, I was like, she probably didn't even remember me. So I just kind of sat there and waited until she came back. I think she was gone for like, 
she probably went to supper or something have supper uh because this was like four o'clock and she got back at like 12 30. so i was just kind of hanging out i'd keep peeing in the cup and dumping it and then when she pulls back in i go sandy i go if you need to talk i didn't give you my information um and if she just runs in the house and a few minutes later a squad car pulls up and the guy takes me out of the car um, and he sees all the pee on the side of the ground and he goes, uh, have you been urinating here? And I go, no, because technically I was, and I was in my car. I just dumped it. He didn't ask me if I was dump, dumping it. He goes, you're urinating here, blah, blah, blah. So I just go like, uh, I, I pay your salary. So uh, give me some space, buckaroo. I go like that to him. I go, I'm here to help a friend. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, uh, buckaroo? I mean, I was a little bit angry at that point. So I'm sorry. It's gross. I hate that when that happens. It just slips out. I lean forward and it just kind of popped out. But uh, when I told him, like, uh, I'm here for a friend buckaroo, I got like too close, I think. Because um, he, uh, he grabbed my arm really hard. It hurt my shoulder and he slammed my face into the hood and he uh, took me down to pokey for the night. And he goes, I was trespassing. I go, it's public property. And I start, I, I regret it now, but I start yelling her name as like, they're putting me in a car. I'm like, Sandy, I'm just yelling Sandy real loud. And I see a couple of the lights go on in the neighborhood because it's like one in the morning. Uh, but if you know her, if you talk to her, tell her that Belle's still here. And she, I'm not like all PO'd at her. She's probably worried. They're like, oh God, that guy, I know who that guy is. He's going to be PO'd. But tell her no. Um, she was nice. Like, I met John Carson one time. Like John Carson, I love, you know, ba da ba ba da, ya da 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 da, da you know, like that. Uh, I like John Carson. But when I was out in, uh, I was out in, uh, I was out in LA and I was ba 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 moving and shaking. And it's early 2000 before I ring my bell. So I got a job. I was working in uh, the Pacific uh Palisades. It was a country club. I'm not going to mention the name of it, just, just a lot of muckety bucks. <laughs> And uh, so I'm working there. It's kind of like working in the kitchen. I'm helping out. And I see John Carson come in his country club. He sits down. He's got his wife. Bah, bah, bah. So I run out there. And I go, uh, can I get you some water, Mr. Carson? Because you're not supposed to talk to the, the guests. And I go, Mr. Carson. And I go, but if you want me, I'll call you John. <laughs> I go, I just like that too. And I go, uh, he goes, no, nah, no, nothing. So I go, how's retirement treating you? Um. He looks up and I go, uh, and uh, the, the manager's walking by and I go, Hey, don't bother me right now. Here is John. I go like that. I say, here's John. I just say to the manager, you know, I think he's going to get a kick out of it. Like just to let him know that I know who he is and blah, blah, blah. And in this place, you know, we're all kind of equals. I go, here is John. Um, like that. And he goes, uh, he lights a cigarette and he goes, get the fuck away from me curses at me and i'm right now and i'm steamed like a vegetable because i don't care who you are you don't have to curse at bell i even said that to him i go i don't care how many muldoons you have buckaroo you don't need to curse at bell because i go yeah you're john but here's doug i say that to him you know just to try to like <sighs> loosen the mood a little bit blah, 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 get everybody smiling and uh and i go you know i go look man let's just start over and i go back I do the whole Tonight Show theme song for him. Uh, you know, just to kind of get like a get like a smile out of him. But uh, he was really mad. He took the ashtray, knocked it on the floor, broke the ashtray. So, and then he got emphysema too. So it's not surprising that. Uh, but he yelled at me, "Get the fuck away from me." John Carson. That was my only time I met John Carson. But then afterwards, when Ring My Bell came on the air, then I bet he regretted that um, that outburst. He probably regretted it a lot. You know, but I was so cool. Here's John. Like, I figured he would love that just to know that I knew who he was. So many guys. Like, I get yelled at. I was, I seen, uh, I go, Charlie Dutton. Charlie Dutton's a good actor. And uh, he's been around for a long time. He's bald. He did some time in jail. He went to jail because he killed the man. And I told him when I met him, I go, 
Charlie Dutton, Dougie Bell. Believe me, me and you got a lot in common. He goes, well, yeah. Well, I say, uh, I go, I've never killed the person, but I go, I've been so mad one time I wanted to. So I get it. And he goes, well, I don't want to talk about it. What are you doing? Uh, he was out with, I guess, his wife or whatever. And I go, don't worry, man. She's not, she understands guys like us. Like I got so mad. I told him the one time I got mad because I had a lawn cutting job and I was cutting the grass, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, I thought the guy wanted me just to mulch it and leave it all over the grass, but he goes, pick it up. What, what are you doing? So I told him I made a mulch and it's going to help the lawn grow. And he yells at me. I had to do double the work. I had to do double the work. I was hot too. My underarms, I told him, I said, my underarms felt like a couple of volcanoes. Believe me, Charlie. Like that, I said to him. And I go, uh, I was so mad. This guy, I'm cutting his grass, thinking the mulch is all he's going to want. And I'm done. I say, I just want to have myself a lemonade. I say that to Charlie and his wife. I just want to have me a lemonade. Uh, and he starts walking uh, away. But then I go, dude, I'm such a fan. Like I loved, I go, I loved you in Pulp Fiction. You were so good. I was a little nervous because it was like it was him. Blah blah blah. He goes, he goes, what? I go, dude, I loved you in Pulp Fiction. He goes, I wasn't in Pulp Fiction. And I, again, I probably should have listened to him because he knows his own movies and blah, blah, blah. But I go, you're, you're, I, what I think I said, you're full of turkey. You're full of turkey. You're giving Bell to run around. I took the bell out. And by this time, I'm like, I was, I, I was as hot as a, a, a cabana on the sun. Hotter than a cabana on the sun. I take the bell out. I go, Charlie Dutton thinks that Bell's an idiot. I go, yeah, well, we'll see. I go, we'll see. You're lying. I go, you were in Pulp Fiction. And he goes, uh, then he comes over and he kind of comes close to my face. And he goes, that was Ving Rhames, you racist asshole. Called me a racist. I go, I'm no racist. And I go, no, I'm not. I go, you can ask any of my friends. I'm not at all. I go, that's not true. Um, and he puts his nose to my nose. He goes, I wasn't in Pulp Fiction. That was Ving Rhames. And you're a racist asshole. And when he says that, he bumps my forehead with his forehead. I got like a mark. It's a true story. I got a mark. Got all mad at me. I just, I was nervous. I made a mistake. It wasn't him. I did watch it again. And it was Ving Rhames. So I made just a mistake. Uh, so if you know Charlie D, tell him that Bell understands that like at first, because I was like, you're lying, you're wrong. You know, uh, uh, and, and then he goes, uh, he goes, why? He goes, why would I not know my movies and you know my movies? He goes, you don't think I, he got really mad at me. He goes, you don't think I know what movies I've been in? And then he goes, you stupid, racist, asshole and this time when he says it, he hits me in the chest he punched me in the chest i fell down knocked he's a big guy um but then i went home and i seen that he was telling the truth so <clears throat> i just made a mistake uh, so if you know charlie d tell him the bell there's no hard feelings between him and bell uh by the way i just wanted to come on and tell john carson's story still burns me up like a like a cabana on a sun it drives me nuts believe me if there was a if there was a, a when I say one time I was talking, I go, if there was a car going to nuts, it drives me there. So something like that's funny. Uh, but anyway, hey, look, uh, seriously, fly, uh, fly, fly wild and stay gold. You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell.